oh, it looks like a walnut. It does indeed. And then you open it up and you're like, oh, it's a porcelain walnut. That's cute. It's quite heavy. It's not like crystal or anything. It's just like a molded glass. It was made in Mexico. Yeah, oven and microwave safe. And then it adds a little anchor. The anchor hawking, which is fire king. Isn't he just so happy though? Look at that. He's like, hey. mostly just the thrifting vlogs for now. We'll see what will appear in the future. What other projects I'll have on there. Okay, so I hit every section of the, <laughs> of the thrift shop and I got a few things. Oh, a little bit from each. Um, I don't think I got any books. No, I didn't get any books and I didn't get any toys. So just like the kitchen area, the outside area, um, and the little decoration kind of place, collections and deco. It's a lot. Okay, so let's start with the outside stuff, which is kind of mostly kitchen stuff. I don't remember which order I picked all of these up in, but I kind of remember roughly where I got them in the in the shop. So if you watch the um, the vlog thrift with me vlog you'll be able to see where I picked everything up but this I grabbed outside <laughs> I thought it was adorable it's like this little snail a little bow tie and a little hat and it says bel aperitif so it's like a little um, table bin <laughs> so you pop it on the table so all of your little olive stones and little skewers that you don't need anymore or little wrappings or anything like that. You just pop them in there and then we can close them up. <laughs> it's so cute. It's a very French thing I feel like to have like a little bin on the table. I'm trying to remember if I've ever seen that in the UK. I don't know. I'm not sure. I thought this one was a little different so a little squirmy worm there on top of the shell. It's not like the the best quality. It's not like a fancy quality porcelain or something. It's just a little ceramic dude. But I thought it was it was cute enough. I think somebody would like it. So I grabbed that. Everything I will show you in this section of the video cost four euros in total. I grabbed these, which are oh, what are they called? Fire King. Anchor Hawking um, milk glass bowls. They're actually a little bigger than the ones I picked up last time. Um, I thought they were the same ones, um, of which I have already like 16, I think, but they're slightly bigger. So they're more bowls rather than little ramekins, but to me they're still kind of ramekin sized, so just slightly bigger. Have the little there it says microwave safe and oven. 
Yeah, oven and microwave safe, and then adds the little anchor, the anchor hawking, which is fire king. So they seem in pretty good condition. Mm, not too many scratches. I mean, this one has. It's not a crack. It's a scratch in there. I don't know if you can even see it. The little white line there. It's definitely just a scratch. Nothing. Nothing going on there. So. It's nice, I can sell them as a little set of four. So yeah. I grabbed this, but I'm not sure if I should have. <laughs> it's also milk glass. It doesn't have like a mark on the on the underside like is the brand, but it is like a little woven basket. It's milk glass, but in shaped into a little basket. Well, not shaped, it's a mold, obviously. <laughs> and even underneath has like the, the little basket mold. And I don't know if it's something that came with a lid or not, but I thought that somebody could use it like as a little um, dish at Easter. And I'm just not sure about it though. I don't know if anybody was really be looking for something like that and oh there's a crack okay well we can forget about that <laughs> so yeah there's a crack here you can see there's a crack and it might it's chipped off that's a chip but because it's glass yeah i'm not gonna i'm not gonna keep that okay well that's a shame but i mean i didn't pay a lot for it but um it's still a shame it's been taken off the, the charity shop's hands at least. So I grabbed this, which a month ago I wouldn't have known what it was. <laughs> um, and it's just very simple, perfect condition. And it has like, it's just like a little dish and it has all these little spikes coming up. They're not particularly, um, sharp like you can't hurt your finger on them or anything but they are for either zesting like uh, zesting a lemon or something or for crushing your garlic How cool is that? so yeah i thought it would be worth picking up because it's very simple and just white so somebody could integrate that into whatever kitchen they would like and i also grabbed these kind of breakfast plates the um the cups like i think they were kind of like tea mug cup things there was one still on one of them but it was in pretty rough shape let's say but both plates are in good condition you can see they have like a, a little fruit design like a vine going around with grapes strawberries whatnot Eaves. I thought they were pretty cute and I'm guessing that this is a pretty classic size for a cup so you can use whatever cups you want with these and underneath they are Philippe okay let me read that <laughs> Philippe de Choulière no yeah Philippe de Choulière porcelain in France so they are porcelain. Um, I could probably look them up. I haven't done it yet, but I think they would at least be worth it a little. Um, I like the idea of the little breakfast plate where you can have your coffee there and then your little croissant or whatever you're eating here. And that way it's all encompassed into one little plate. It's a little hotel-y, isn't it? Kind of feels like a hotel idea. So yeah, so that's everything I got for four euros. I think I can definitely make the four euros back and then some. I think I like the finds. Oh wait, well I guess this one is not really included anymore and I have a regret buy. <laughs> so this milk glass pot 
I saw it a few times and each time I was like, oh, I don't know what it is. I'll check it out later. I don't know what it is. I'll check it out later. And then today I thought, well, just grab it. And then, you know, it won't cost much. And then you can look it up when you get home. So I grabbed it. And the first thing I noticed when I was washing it is that the milk glass is kind of yellow. I don't know if you can see that, like the difference. Yeah. And then when I looked it up, Um, it is a foie gras pot, which just means it's just packaging for some foie gras. So foie gras is pretty expensive, it's like the duck um, foie, duck liver pate that they make in France, which is actually illegal to make in the UK because of the, um, the animal rights. And I was just like, oh, okay. <laughs> So I'm not going to bother with this, and this is damaged. So these two were unfortunate misses for me, but I think for four euros, these four pieces, well, more than four because there are four of these and two of these, but these four items, I would class the four, the set of four as an item and the set of two as an item, are still worth a euro each. So not so bad for the outside. Okay, so let's have a look at all of the stuff I got inside. I'm really excited because everything I'm about to show you from what's coming next all the way to the jewellery, jewellery was separate, um, was 15 euros. So I was very surprised when the guy was like, yeah, 15 euros. And then I added loads of stuff and he's like, yeah, still 15 euros. I was like, are you sure? And he's like, yeah, you're clearing my shelves. Thanks. I was like, no problem. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so let me show you that now. So still going for kitchen items. I grabbed this Le Creuset um, kitchenware. Perfect condition. It's, um, I don't know if you know the brand Le Creuset. It's a pretty expensive, well-made French cookware brand. And these are quite common and I looked on eBay and they sell okay. They don't sell super expensive um, and the fact that I only have one of them is not really a selling point but I thought I'll grab it and maybe on another trip I'll get another one and you know that kind of thing. And since everything I'm about to show you was 15 euros I paid really nothing for it so it's pretty cool. Pretty cool. This next item isn't kitchen, but you might recognize it. Look, I found another one. I think I might even mentioned, I might have even mentioned in the video when I was showing you the first one that I found another one. Well, this is it. It was from this trip. I was really excited because I actually did see two when I got the first one, but the second one was so badly damaged. Like it wasn't badly damaged, but all the paint was worn away and there was a few chips. But this one is almost in as good um, a shape as the first one. There is a slight bit of the paint rubbed off there, you can see. But it's not a chip, it's just the paint. And since it's like a white polka dot thing, you don't really notice it. And it's a planter. It's not like a, a delicate porcelain thing that you're going to be looking at eye level. It's a, it's a planter. So yeah. Now I have a pair to sell. <laughs> I think that's cool. We'll definitely sell better now that it's a pair. If it sells at all. I know. I know. I'm not. I don't have any idea what it's going to sell from all of this yet. Um, I'll need to do some what sold for how much that kind of video. I know people really like those. I don't know. Is that a relaxing ASMR thing? Would that be relaxing to you guys? Or is talking about money and selling and stuff like that just a bit like stressful? I can understand that too. Okay, so I grabbed this little kitchen piece too. It feels very French to me. <laughs> Either French or English. I know in England they like this kind of thing too. Um, it's like two little cabbage leaves and I think I would say it's for like putting little snacks or is it for you to like lay down all the things that you've already used that you like, like little um, waste 
area that's very pretty, you know, with all your little skewers that you've used and that sort of thing, you know what I mean? But I thought it's, it's pretty cute. It's definitely something that people collect, for sure. I've seen, um, I looked up online and there's a few items like that that sell well. I found some more egg cups, guys, <laughs> and I'm happy about it. And this time I got a set of four little white egg cups, all with different motifs. So there's little cherries and it says Affabelle underneath. I haven't looked these up yet, so I don't know if um, people are looking for them. I doubt that they're going to be worth much, but enough for me to have picked them up for less than a euro and sell them on. They're pretty light. We have a little bunch of grapes. We have a rose. That's cute. I think they're really nicely done. And then this little flower. I think they're gorgeous. And four is a perfect little set to sell. And Easter is coming. We'll see. Hopefully it will be a selling point for all of these little eggs. It's funny to think that people think about buying egg cups at Easter when you could eat hard boiled eggs all year. But, yeah. <laughs> Me too, I'm thinking, wow, it's great, Easter's coming, I can sell them. But why wouldn't I sell them like in another like period of the year? Okay. Following the Easter theme, I grabbed these two little hens with their little chicks. <laughs> I think they're little planters. I'm not sure, but I'm gonna sell them as planters. Aren't they cute? There's a bit of paint that has rubbed off a little on this beak and a little on the top here, but they're pretty nice. It's definitely a specific style if you want to put like little succulents in there. I'm pretty sure they're fur for succulents. Does anybody have any other um, ways to use these like these things? I mean, obviously in Easter, during Easter you could use them to put like Easter eggs and little decorations and stuff like that, but I feel like they're planters. I'm straying away from my, <laughs> from my swan planters and I grabbed a, a little more duck and then moving on to hens. I thought I was just going to stay in the swans, but this next item is also a bit of an Easter find. It's like the plate is in the shape of an egg. You have the roosters. Why have we got two roosters with the chicks? I think you would have hens. Anyway, they're pretty and yellow. Um, this rooster has a little chip up here though. I didn't see that. I don't know if that's really a deal breaker for someone that would like this little cute decoration. So maybe it would be cool for Easter or if you have hens, um, you might want to hold a few eggs on the counter or something. I don't know. I feel more like it's an Easter thing. It's pretty cute. It doesn't have like a, a mark under or anything. I got like it's just like a little clush, you know, like a little cover. If it was like a little plate or something. Um, I don't know what it's from. It's obviously supposed to go with something else. Um, maybe like to put out a little candle thing, or I really don't know, or like a little butter dish or something. But I just thought it was really cute, and since it's just plain white porcelain, I thought somebody might like a little cloche. <laughs> I don't know why. So yeah, I just grabbed it. So my table is a little full. Let's, let me just move all this stuff off and show you the next item. So now on to more decorative pieces. 
grab this. I actually saw this a few times and I was like, oh, it's very modern. I doubt it's worth much. And then I just thought, well, it's cute. So why not? It's like a little um, photosphere, or, you know, like when you have like a little candle inside, the light comes through. And I thought it was just pretty. There's this little bird on top. The details are like fake old you know what I mean, <laughs> distressed, if you like. And it's just a very simple piece. It may have had a base, which is maybe why um, it was there, but you don't always need a specific base to use this kind of thing. I thought it was in perfect condition, so why not? It would look pretty. And I also grabbed this one. <laughs> and this one I was actually be able to um, look up. And it is something that sells quite well. I don't remember the name right now. I'll write it on the screen because I looked it up yesterday and I've forgotten already. But it's like um, a Christmas series. I don't have the box. The ones that I saw selling do have the boxes, but they were selling for well, quite a nice price. Um, but this one has a tiny chip up there on the top there. A little chip there, um, but otherwise it's in pretty good condition. There's nothing going on. This is in perfect condition. There's nothing happened to that. So, yeah. And I don't know, is this like a wax mount thing? Because I feel like it's a little different. Like this, the base for the candle is pretty high and the holes for the like the air to come out, is they're pretty low. So is it a wax melt thing? I don't know. Like it heats up here and then you put a little something in here. I guess I didn't pay much attention when I looked up. <laughs> I just assumed it was the same thing as this. Anyway, either way, I mean, it's a nice little um, Christmassy shepherd. Little, I guess it's Christmassy because there's tartan on it. Although for me, that's not really Christmassy. That's just normal. <laughs> to have some sheep, and he has like um, his little pipe. And he has a little. His mouth is like. <laughs> so yeah. Hopefully, this one will sell nicely. Of course, I got another duck. <laughs> I know, you're like, Jen, honestly, you have sold zero ducks so far. Why do you keep buying ducks? I think they're cute. I don't know, I think somebody would like these ducks. So this one is just purely decorative. It's not to put like a, a succulent in or it's not like a kitchen piece. It's literally just a nice little duck figurine. It's quite big. And it's very simple and has no cracks or chips or anything wrong with him. He's just a nice little duck. So somebody might like him. I think he's gorgeous. Um, I think my partner would not enjoy the amount of ducks I would like to have in our home. <laughs> but somebody might. So that's for them. He's just so happy though, look at that. He's like, hey. Yeah. I grabbed this face and I'm not sure about it. Um, the reason I'm not sure about it is I can't tell if it's hand blown. I think it is. Um, what do you guys think? There is kind of a, a bit there, but I'm not sure. And I don't really get, is it painted glass? Is that being painted like on the inside? I don't think so. I think that's a swirl of two different colored glasses together. I just think it's really pretty. And it is um, just like a little single, one of, what is it called? The solif, so, I always forget that word. It means like a single flower vase. Like, you could maybe get two or three in there, but... <laughs> yeah, I feel like it's hand-blown, um, but I'm not sure. 
so I don't think I will put it down as definitely hand blown. Although it does feel like it is. I don't know. Does anybody know anything about that kind of thing? It needs a little, um, a little love, a little care up here to get rid of watermarks there, like lime scale watermarks. Can use some vinegar to get rid of that before I sell it. But yeah, I feel like it's hand blown. It's really pretty. I, I like that on this side, the blue, it's a dark blue, you can't really, you can see it here a bit. Um, I like that on this side, it's very crisp. And then on the other side, it's more of a fade. So you can decide if you want it crisp here with a fade here. Or crisp and crisp. So yeah, that was nice. It does stand up very well, but just on this blanket, it's not having good luck. <laughs> I grabbed another glass piece. <laughs> this is so fun. It's huge. Um, it's quite heavy. It's not like crystal or anything. It's just like a molded glass. It was made in Mexico. And I'm not sure what it was like its first purpose was, is it for like sweets, like a bonbonniere or something like that? Or is it a planter maybe? Like a glass planter? Although, would you want to see all the the dirt and the roots? I'm not sure. I think it's more of a inside piece. What do you think? You can see that like underneath <laughs> the horse has like a hollow because it is so heavy. I'm guessing they're like, okay, let's remove some bulk from here so that we can lift this thing. I don't know, I just thought it was kind of cool. A chunky piece. I actually love the fact that the the glass has little wooden, the little marks of the wood, <laughs> the wooden planks there. The carriage. And horses, people love horses, don't they? I saw a few of these selling online. I didn't see any sold, but I only saw them selling in America, so I don't know about France. We'll see. We will see. This gorgeous glass piece from Mexico. Mexico, Mexico. It's definitely molded. I mean, you can see there's like a line right through, you know? It's not like hand blown or anything like that, but I won't be trying to sell it as such. I wonder if it's vintage. I need to try and get a date on it before I sell it. Because it very well could be. It's definitely not antique. <laughs> but it could be vintage. The last glass piece I got. Then I'll just pop the little horsey there. Now this last piece I wasn't sure about. Um, it is a hand blown decoration. You can see. So it's like a little glass sculpture. We have the classic French rooster and then this um, flower here. Some leaves down there. Um, the orange is going through down here and the rooster is like a blue or there and then, you know, so it's, it's really pretty. I like it. And there's even some details on the face. I mean, I think it was probably made in France, but it could be made in China or something. I don't feel like there's any bubbles in there. Um, the only thing that bothers me about it is that it is attached to this, <laughs> unfortunately. It's like a, almost like a mirror piece, like a, a round mirror that is attached to. And I really want to be able to remove this without damaging the glass. And I don't know if I can. Um, I thought about just like really just jamming a knife in there and trying to <laughs> remove it like that after soaking it for a while. But then I thought I might just risk to just like crack the whole thing. I don't know. Um, what do you guys think? <laughs> Does anybody know what I should do? 
I don't even know if we can see what it's glued on with. Like that was obviously glued on to something else, but like, I don't know. What do you guys think? I haven't really looked it up online yet to see where it was made. It could just be a china thing that was attached to like a clock or something random, but I don't know. And considering I got all of this for 15 euros, I have a bit of leeway to make some, make some euros on this stuff, so. I don't know. I think it's like, when I look at it, I'm like, oh, yeah. And then, but then when I look at it, like, closely, I'm like, oh, that's actually quite detailed. It's quite pretty, you know, somebody made that. It's definitely handmade, but by who? I don't know. I would like to know. I mean, it's not, well, there are a few bubbles, I guess. I don't know. Is that just like a Chinese thing? Can somebody help me with that? <laughs> Please, let me know. I mean, obviously the feet, are, it's, it's just a big blob, so it's not like sophisticated glass. Um, but I think it's nice. It's nicely done. Okay, do I have any more glass? I do not. That's all the glass. This little guy, I think, was a great, great find. It might be my best find. I don't know if it's worth much, but I definitely think it's a really nice find. So it is this little trinket dish. You're like, oh, it looks like a walnut. It does indeed. And then you open it up and you're like, oh, it's a porcelain walnut. That's cute. And it's hand painted, obviously. You can see the details there. And then I turned it over, and it was like, yeah, hand decorated, like painted by hand. And it is um, a Limoges porcelain. So I thought, that's pretty cool. So artistic porcelain from Limoges. Label of quality, hand painted, and it's quite unique. Um, I looked up online, I found one other one, and it wasn't like for sale. So, I don't know. I'll have to have a proper look around. I mean, when I say I looked it up, I just did it like a reverse Google image search with my phone with Google Lens. So if I actually take time and have a look, I might see how much that's worth. It's probably just like a little souvenir piece maybe, but I just thought it was original. It's quite cool. What do you guys think? sits perfectly. It's lovely. I really like it. <laughs> okay, so I found a few figurines. These are little porcelain figurines. I mean, obviously not the same quality of porcelain <laughs> as this guy, but I thought they were sweet. They're like little vintage puppy dogs, and they've got the gorgeous big eyes. They look a little droopy. I looked them up. There are a few of them um, that sold, so somebody might like these guys. And I got a nice little porcelain cat. Look at his little face. Hey. So yeah, I just grabbed this because, I mean, you don't really pay much for them, and I think I can put a whole bunch of them together and sell them in a lot or something. I know people like these kind of things and sometimes when you just have one and you want to have a little set of them or something you know that whole kitsch retro vintage kitsch thing okay so this guy i found <laughs> in the figurines it's not like a fancy figurine or something it maybe was on like a christmas display or something i just thought he was cute um i don't know if i'll sell him or if i'll just put him in our christmas decorations I think I might just pop him in our Christmas decorations because he's kind of yellow, isn't he? Now that I've got him in the light. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to just pop him into our next year's Christmas decorations. Pop him in the snow. <laughs> A few little other trinkets I got. I got this little pewter duck and I just thought, you're cute. It's a duck again <laughs> but it was it's very heavy 
This is like a tiny little trinket dish and when I looked it up online there are six in a set and they're like large to small. This one, the smaller ones. So that's fine. I'll pop it up for a few euros and see if someone wants to complete their collection of them. It's pretty nicely made. Another metal piece. Not pewter, but <laughs> this guy. It's a doorstop. It's quite heavy. It's just a froggy. And I just thought, he's in perfect condition. Why not grab that while I'm there? Um, these two are part of the, <laughs> the stuff that I grabbed after he'd already quoted 15 euros. I'll show you all the other stuff I got. And he kept the price at 15 after I got everything, so it's very nice. This next piece <laughs> is kind of fun. It's metal also. Just got three metal pieces at once. Um, it's this knight's helmet. Quite nicely decorated. And it is a pour. So what that means is you pop it on your um, vodka or whatever liquor and you can pour it out the the front of the mask <laughs> the front of the helmet you lift up the, the cover oh, what's that called oh that's gonna bug me now you lift up the i can't remember what it's called yeah i thought it was it's kind of cool i'm sure i can get a few euros out of that it's so much fun i mean <laughs> i don't know why i like this kind of Thing. Some people would just be like so bothered by having all this stuff around them and all these trinkety, junkety things, random things, but I just really feel at home <laughs> around all this stuff. I don't know why. I think because my both of my parents liked charity shops and auctions and things like that, so I, I kind of am comfortable with that. Um, contrary to that kind of feel, my mum kept a very clean and quite spacious house. Like she didn't have a lot of figurines or anything like that. She would just have like a very strategically placed duck. Like the them the wooden ducks. I remember them. Like two little wooden ducks on the floor, just in the right place, you know? And then like her planter would be like a sheep. It would be cute, but it would be clean and not in the right place, you know. She, she has a really clean aesthetic, but cute at the same time, so like, yeah, it's cool. Where was I going with that? Oh yeah, I grew up like around this kind of stuff, but not in my home. Not like all over the place, just select pieces. I also grabbed this little, looks like a little coat stand, like a coat rack, coat stand thing. And it's metal. Um, and I grabbed this for my daughter so she can hang all her necklaces and stuff on it. She has like somewhere to store her earrings and stuff. But I thought this would be cute for her, for her necklaces. So I grabbed that while I was there. It was a nice one. It's just not gonna stop, guys. This haul is going on. <laughs> I still have a whole basket full of stuff right next to me. This is going to be a long one. So, this is kind of funny. It's a cigar. I can't remember what it is in English, but it's that bug in the south of France, the big one. <laughs> They're like, that make those crickety noises. They sleep for like four years and then they come up and mate and stuff. Um, cigar. I, I can't think of what it's called in English. Um, I saw a lot of stuff like this in the south of France and it's very popular down there, like decorative-wise. And this is like um, a porous clay version and it is actually for the scent. So you can see on the back here that you can hang it up on your wall and it smells lovely. It smells like honey. I don't know exactly what the scent is, but there's something honey about it. Um, and then we have like different holes in it. I don't know exactly. There's a hole here, there's a hole here, but this one goes right through. So I don't know if you're supposed to put like a little flower, dried flowers or an incense stick or you're just meant to spray it with oils so it smells nice. 
I don't know exactly, but I, I know that kind of roughly what it is. And I know that um, hand painted ceramic versions of these go for quite a lot online, especially the big ones. So I, I keep my eye out for them. I actually found one um, on my trip that I went on before this one, but it was like an electronic one that makes noise when you go past it. So I was like, yeah, no. <laughs> no, thank you. So yeah, that's pretty cool. What else do I have to show you? Let me just clear these little figurines and bits and bobs and then show you the next item. This might be my favourite thing that I got from this whole haul. I think it is. It's gorgeous. So this is actually going to be the end of part one because I have a lot of stuff to show you from this trip. So make sure you're subscribed so you can see part two. It won't be So I hope that you enjoyed this part of the video, that you found it relaxing and interesting to see everything I found. I hope that every single one of my sleepy squirrels are well. Wherever you are in the world, whatever's happening around I hope that you can find your own little bubble of calm. For example, if you are from New York, the USA, like Mastra Makamadova, you all have a lovely, lovely, lovely evening. And I'll see you next